so today we will be starting with uh, redemption of uh, debentures and uh, various permutation and combination you know regarding various types of debentures issued either at a premium or other at a discount or at par and how they are redeemed and what are the journal entries for it so you write the heading redemption of debentures now this is very important from exam point of view and very likely to come in your exam now first we will be going through all the entries so you will be writing the standard entries understand it and then we will be going for the sum now over here we are going to study about redemption of debentures as you know debentures are basically liability of the company and since it's a liability it comes with a tenure that we have to pay back this money to our debenture holders now over here debentures are issued either at par or at a premium or at a discount so we are going to see how they are redeemed right now we are going to study redemption of debentures at par that is what we are going to study for various types of debentures issued at face value or at uh, face value so at par or at discount or at premium so this is what we are going to see and in the next session we will go for when debentures are also redeemed at a premium now debentures cannot be redeemed at a discount it means jab hame paisa wapas karna hai debenture holder ko tab hum discount pe debentures ko redeem nahi kar sakte okay we'll see this as we go now you write the first heading here we are going to see redemption of debentures where debentures percentage debentures i use are issued at par at par yani at face value let's take face value as 100 and redeem at par so at the time of redemption also we are going to give back rupees 100 to our debenture holder it means issued at par means we have taken 100 from the debenture holders and redeemed at par means we are going to give back rupees 100 for debenture so this is the first condition what we are going to study now entry at the time of issue so very simple entry at the time of issue bank account debit now i am using this per debenture value for your understanding so you got rupees 100 from debenture holders or to from those who applied for debentures to debenture application and allotment account 100 so this is the first entry second debenture i'm using writing in short so that uh, i can cover the screen with more number of entries okay when you write at your home you write properly debenture application and allotment account debit 100 to percentage debenture account now as you can see yahan pe company ne 100 rupees debenture holder se le liye so this is at the time of issue now these debentures are to be redeemed at par so at the time of redemption and payment i'll combine it and payment and payment to whom payment to debenture holders
So in this case, your next entry will be at the time of redemption. So if you are issuing today, the entry will be at the time of issue and at the time of redemption. So maybe after three years, five years, seven years. Okay. At that time, first we have to cancel these debentures. So these debentures, ten, uh, this percentage debentures are to be cancelled. So some percentage debenture account debit. Now we have to pay back how much? We have to pay back rupees hundred only. So two debenture holder. So here we are creating a liability because the date of redemption and the date of payment may not be the same. That's why on the date of redemption, we are creating this liability towards the debenture holder, 100. And fourth, debenture holder account debit. Two back. These are simple four entries. As you can see over here, we took hundred. We took hundred and we paid back rupees hundred to debenture holders. So that is why we call it debentures issued at par and redeemed at par. Please write this. Now we go to the second condition. So you write the condition. Second is debentures issued at premium. So I write in the bracket. So for example, face value is 100 plus premium is rupees 10. which is equal to 110 and redeemed at par. See, wonderful situation for us. We public as a company, public se 110 collect kiya, but jab hum wapas karenge, tab hum wapas karenge only rupees 100. So we collected 110, we are going to return back rupees 100. So debentures are issued at par and redeemable at par. Right now, all the three cases, what we are going to see are redeemed at par for debentures issued at par, at premium or at discount. Now, entry at the time of issue, So entry at the time of issue. First, bank account debit, rupees 100, sorry, rupees 110, two debenture, Application and allotment account 110. So, when people are applying for debenture, they are giving you 110 because debentures are issued at premium. Uh, these amounts are per debenture. Okay, I'm using these amounts so it's easier for you to understand. Second, debenture application and allotment account debit 110 two percentage debenture our actual debentures always at the face value that is rupees 100 and two securities premium reserve account 10. So these are the two entries. First, bank to debenture application and allotment, 
debenture application and allotment to percentage debenture into security premium reserve. So here the company has received 100 towards the debenture and 10 rupees towards security premium. So we collected 110 from general public and now at the time of redemption, we have to redeem them at par. You can see over here at par. So let's write the heading. On redemption and payment to debenture holder. So, on redemption, first we have to cancel these debentures. So, third entry. Percentage debenture account debit hundred to we create a liability to debenture holder account. Hundred fourth. Now we pay the money to debenture holder. So debenture holder account debit. to bank as you can see we are paying back only rupees 100 but we collected 110 so because debentures are issued at a premium and they are redeemed at par at par means the face value please write it down Now we go to the third condition. Debentures issued at discount and and Okay, let me write the amount. So face value, rupees 100 minus discount. Let's take rupees 5. It is equal to 95. So you collected 95 from general public and at the time of redemption, and redeemable at par. So you have to give back rupees 100. So here you collected 95 and you have to give back rupees 100. Okay, because debentures are issued at a discount, but you have to pay back at a par. So you have to pay back rupees 100. Let's go to the entry at the time of issue. on issue of debentures first bank account debit 95 to debenture application and allotment account 95 Second entry, debenture application and allotment account. Debit, now they are issued at a discount. So discount is our expense, so we have to debit. So discount on debenture account. Debit 
5 2% debenture always at the face value that is rupees 100 so this is your second entry now at the time of redemption so entry on redemption and payment to debenture holder Third, we have to first cancel these debentures. So percentage debenture account debit to debenture holder hundred. And fourth entry, debenture holder account debit to bank account. Now over here, you can very well see that we collected from debenture holder 95 because debentures are face value 100, we provided interest on rupees 100 and we return back rupees 100. So we collected 95 and we paid back rupees 100. You can see over here. So that is debentures issued at a discount and redeemed at par. Please write this. Now let's start with the sum illustration 12. Write the journal entries only for, only for issue of debentures from the following transaction and without narration. So if this is given in the exam, you don't have to write the narration. If this is not given, you have to write narration. If you don't write narration, then you will lose marks. But if it is given without narration, you are lucky enough on that day. So to me, fair narration is not required. Now we'll go one by one for the various cases and write the journal entries for issue. For redemption, we'll write uh, write the entry at the end for all the three together because that remains same for all the three conditions because in all the three conditions they are redeemed at par. Okay, so. Let's go. Illustration number 12. First condition. So I'll write the condition over here. First condition is issue. At issue 5000 debentures at the rate face value 100 and redeem at par. So issued at par and redeemed at par. So this is the first uh, condition what we are going to see. Now let's write the entry in this because date is not given. Now first bank account debit. How many debentures? 5000 debentures into rupees 100.
ILAC. Two debenture application and allotment account. Second, debenture application and allotment account, pilot. What percentage debentures are issued? Look into the question, 10%. To 10% debenture account. Always with the face value. Right. That's it. Close it. No need to do the totals. We go to the second condition in the question. Issued 5,000 10% debenture of rupees 100 each at a discount of 5%. So 100 at a discount of 5%. So minus rupees 5, which is equal to rupees 95 and redeemable at par. So we have to give back rupees 100. Now let's write the heading. Issued 5,000, I write percentage also, debentures at 95 and redeem at par. The first entry. Bank account debit, the so bank account again 5000 debentures into rupees. 95 is what we are going to receive from our debenture holders. Debit. Two. 10% debenture account. So to debenture application and allotment account. 4 lakh 75,000. Second. Debenture application and allotment account debit four lakh seventy five thousand. Now debentures are of uh, ninety five. Okay, they are at five rupees discount. So we have to record discount. So discount on debenture account. In the bracket, 5000 debenture into rupees 5. Debit, this can't be debit, 25,000. And then two 10% debenture account. Five. That's it, because we are writing entries only at the time of issue.
for redemption for just for understanding will write it in the last for all the three conditions now third one issued 5000 10% debentures of rupees 100 each at a premium of 8% so plus rupees 8 is equal to rupees 108 and redeemable at par so redeemable at rupees 100 so we will be collecting 108 from debenture holders but we'll be paying back only rupees 100 so let's write the condition issue 5000 10 percent debenture at 108 and redeem at par so first let's write the entry for issue so when applications come bank account 5,000 debentures into we will collect rupees 108 from debenture holders, including premium. So 5,000 into 108, 540,000 to debenture application and allotment account. Second, second me thoda dhyan dena. Debenture, application, and allotment account. Debit, 540,000. Now here there is no discount, it is premium. So premium will be credited along with debentures. So two. 10% debenture account, 5,000 debentures into face value, 100, 5 lakh, and two securities, premium reserve account. How did we get this? 5000 debentures into rupees 8 premium. So close it. Now as for the question, we have written the entries for issue, but I also want you to write entries for uh, redemption of debentures. Now, all of the three cases, there are 5,000 debentures and they are redeemed at the path. So let's write the entry. Entry. For redemption of debentures. I want you all to write this for practice. In this first entry, first we have to cancel these debentures, 10% debentures. So 10% debentures account always with the face value 5000 into face value 100 debit 5 lakh to debenture holder. Debenture holder are the people like you and me who have applied for debenture. 
सो फ्रॉम कंपनी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी आर डिबेंचर होल्डर जिससे कंपनी ने पैसा लिया है फ्रॉम होम द कंपनी हैज कलेक्टेड द मनी एंड इश्यू डिबेंचर so now company is cancelling the debenture and creating a liability in its books to pay the debenture holders fine and then we are paying the money so debenture holder account debit to bank up. now i'll still write over your 5000 debenture into rupees 100 which is face value because they are redeem that part that's it so these are the three conditions what we have seen today and they are extremely important for your exam extremely important so please uh, write all the entries standard entries first and then do this uh, sum once again and do the corresponding exercise sum once again this is already there in my video lecture see my video lecture again to have clarity of concepts